Hey there, thanks for coming to check this video out. We're going to be installing an 8TB Western Digital Black Series hard drive into my gaming PC. We're expanding the storage, so if you want to learn how to do that, stay tuned. We're going to go through that in this video. Also, like I said before in my other videos, if you haven't subscribed, it's free. Go ahead, do it. And uh, if you have any questions about the process, leave them down in the comments. Starting with the hard drive, we have a 8TB Western Digital Black hard drive. First things first is we're going to want to shut down the PC and then turn the power supply off. Then you can unscrew all the thumb screws holding down the side panels and this will just allow us to access all the parts within it very easily. One thing to note is you're going to want to ground yourself before doing any work on the PC. So touch something that's metal that's connected to the ground and then you'll be good to go. Next we're going to want to take our screwdriver and uninstall our graphics card. To do this, we unscrew the Phillips head screws on the left side, and then we remove the PCI cables from the graphics card. Once the cables are removed and tucked away, you're going to want to locate the pin that unlocks the PCI slot. It's usually under the graphics card and you're going to want to pry that down as you're pulling the graphics card out. Keep in mind these pins are pretty strong so you don't have to be too worried. You can pull a little bit hard but you don't want to break the pins so keep in, keep in mind you're going to want to kind of shimmy it out of there. Once the graphics card's out, we can move it out of the way and locate our SATA cable ports. They're usually on the right side of the motherboard, you know, located near the bottom. And here we have uh, four ports in total. Then we're gonna take a SATA cable, usually comes in the motherboard box, and we're gonna plug that into one of the slots so that we can route it to the back of the PC and use it when we need it. The SATA cable has an L-shaped connector, so make sure you just fit it in that way. You can only go one way, so don't be too worried. Once that's in the back, we're going to move our cables around and find it and then pull it out so that we have easy access to it when we need to plug it into our hard drive. Then we're going to take our hard drive tray. In this case, it's not installed on our PC, so we're going to have to install it. It takes four screws, so it's not too big of a deal. We have a space here for it. Your PC might have it installed already and you might be able to pull out the drive bays, so that's okay, but in this case we gotta install it. So I'm gonna move all the cables over and make some space so that we can install this easily and uh, get our hard drive in there with no issues. Once the cables are in, we're gonna unscrew this back piece so that we can screw in our drive bay. The drive bay fits in there good. We've checked it, so we're gonna unscrew the screws and then we're going to screw it into place. This is actually a cool feature of this Lian Li 011 Dynamic Mini case where you get a modular design. You're gonna wanna make sure these screws are tight also if you have the same case or a similar case. Once it's installed, we're going to kind of slide over that thumb screw so that we can pull out our drive bay. Next, you're going to want to locate your SATA cable connectors because this is what's going to power the drive. Ours we have connected to our power supply already and it's powering up the RGB. So we'll leave those in there for later. Now we're gonna put our hard drive onto our tray and install it. it. Takes six screws, and in this case, the screws came with my case. So we're gonna just slide this. So we're gonna just slide the hard drive onto the tray and make sure that the handle is where there are no ports so that when we plug it in to the drive bay we have access to the ports on the inside of the computer
line up the screws with the drive bay some drive bays just click into place so if you have one of those it's a lot easier but in this case we got to screw six screws to secure our drive in place keep in mind you can get away with two three four screws but in this case i put all six just to limit vibrations once that's done we're going to head over back to the pc and install it so the drive just slips into place back in the tray and once it's in we can plug in our wires first i'll start with this sata connector for power and again this has an l-shaped connector so you won't be able to put it in the wrong way once that's in place you won't hear a click with that one but with this one you will with the data connector so get those plugged in nice and firm and once they're connected we can go ahead and lock that drive bay up There's a little thumb screw up top. We just move it over, it locks them in place, and then we tighten it. Technically, you can keep this piece off. I like to put it back just because it's a cleaner aesthetic, but not a big deal if you leave it off. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and pop our side cover back on just before we do so, we want to make sure our wires are not in a place where they're going to get pinched. So that's important because then you'll end up with some issues. Once that's in, we put the thumb screws back in. Then we're going to install the graphics card back into the PCI slot. So you want to clip it into place and you should hear a audible click when you push it in. Once it's plugged in, you can go ahead and put the wires back in. Those also click into place. And then you can go ahead and insert the screws that secure it down to the back of the PC case. Once that's done, we can go ahead and put our panels back onto our PC and close it up. And then we're going to want to plug our PC back in, plug in all the cables, flick the power supply switch back on, and power it back up. Once it's on and it posts, we're going to go into the desktop and check it. So you'll notice that the hard drive is not actually in our PC yet. It's not recognized. So we're going to want to go to disk management to set it up. Now with any new drive, you're going to have to do this. So don't worry about it. Once disk management's open, you're gonna to want to select the GUID partition, click OK, and then right click the volume, click new simple volume, hit next, just keep hitting next. And then we're gonna assign it a letter. In this case, I pick Z just for fun. Once that's done, you can hit next. And then you're gonna to want to format the drive to NTFS just so that it's all cleaned up. We're gonna be calling this one the vault. Actually, we're gonna call it backup vault. And once that's done, you'll see it pop up in your PC. So as it's formatting, you'll see it pop up in the background there. Now we can click it, we can open it, check the properties, and we're good. We got 7.27 terabytes of storage. If this video helped you at all, please hit that subscribe button because it helps me a lot. And also, again, if you have any questions or maybe you have some suggestions for a new YouTube video, new tutorial, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as fast as possible. That's it. Till next time. See you later.